Welcome to ProKitchen University, an online video tutorial series, version 11. This video is part of the Mac Native Interface series for Mac users only. In this video, we are going to explore moldings. We will add moldings, both manually and with the one click add all moldings tool, stack moldings in the design, explore molding right click tools, and we will add non planned moldings to the bill of materials. Moldings are quite literally the crowning glory of your designs. It is very important to add all the necessary moldings once you have completed drafting the cabinetry, not only for them to render in 3D, but to also ensure that they are on the bill of materials, manufacturer, and customer reports. There are two ways in which you can add moldings to your designs with ProKitchen software, either by dragging them into your plan manually from your selected catalog, or by adding them with the one-click Add All Moldings tool. Let's start by adding moldings manually. Adding moldings manually is done exactly in the same manner as placing cabinets and other items. Navigate to the catalog panel on the left. Follow the catalog tree, opening each folder and subfolder until you locate the type of molding you wish to install. Left click and hold the item, drag the mouse over an existing cabinet, and release the mouse to place onto the cabinet and all adjacent cabinets in the run of cabinetry. If there are breaks in the cabinetry for appliances or other non cabinet items, you will need to drag and drop the molding onto the remaining sections of cabinetry. If, on the upper cabinetry, you have installed a valance between the break of cabinetry, the molding will automatically apply to the entire run of cabinets. To delete a molding, hover over the installed molding and right-click the mouse to open the menu. Hover to the SKU of the molding and into the toolbox, then select Delete. You may also delete the molding by selecting the molding with a left click, then either selecting the delete icon on the top toolbar, or by using the hotkey command by holding down the function key on the keyboard, then tapping the delete key. Adding moldings manually may be tedious and potentially result in unintentionally leaving out a required molding. The add all moldings tool allows you to install all moldings to the cabinets in the design with a single click. To enable the one-click Add All tool, you must utilize the Moldings tab in Design Settings, which is typically done before beginning each new design. Design Settings can be located either in the Settings tab drop-down menu found at the top of the ProKitchen window, or on the top toolbar with the icon shaped like a blue circle with a white gear inside. In the dialog box, locate and left click the moldings tab. Here, you may enable any or all of the following moldings light rail molding, top molding, and toe kick by left clicking in the box to the left of the desired option to place a check mark. Once a molding has been enabled, both the catalog and product drop down menus will become activated. Left click the catalog drop down and use the roller ball on the mouse to scroll through your list of catalogs, and left click the appropriate catalog to select. Then, left click the product drop down to select your desired molding. In this drop down, when you hover over the molding, a preview of the profile will appear. Left click to select and continue to enable and select the required moldings. Note, if the design requires stacked moldings, be sure to enable the starter molding as the top molding for the one-click Add All Moldings tool. Once all the required moldings have been enabled, left-click OK at the bottom right corner of the dialog box to apply. Now the Add All Moldings icon on the left toolbar is active and ready to be used. To add all the enabled moldings into the design, left-click the Add All icon once, 
this action will apply all the enabled moldings to all the appropriate cabinetry items with a single click. Stacking moldings on plan has previously been a challenge in the design world. Pro Kitchen Software has addressed this challenge by adding this important feature into the software, which will not only add the items to your plan and elevation views, bill of materials, manufacturer and customer reports by a simple drag and drop, but also allows you to render a stacked molding in the 3D representation of the design and provides your customer with the truest rendering in your presentation. Since we enabled starter molding as the top molding for the one-click add-all molding tool, we may stack additional top molding by once again navigating to the catalog panel on the left, follow the catalog tree, left-click and hold the desired top decorative molding, and drag into either the plan or elevation view, and hover the mouse over the cabinetry you wish to place it, then release the mouse to secure. As before, when dragging and dropping, you will need to drag and drop to all sections of cabinetry that are separated by either open space or non-cabinetry items. As you can see, Pro Kitchen Software's Stacked Moldings feature adds another level of true-to-design product and easy application of stacked moldings within your designs. Now that all the moldings have been installed, let's take a moment to explore the molding right-click toolbox tools. Each added molding will have its own right-click toolbox. To access this, hover the mouse over the molding and right-click to open the menu. Hover to the desired moldings SKU and slide into the toolbox. Here, you will find many of the same tools as other items within ProKitchen software. Drag will allow you to move the molding to the left or right along the wall placement zone. You may do this manually with the mouse or by utilizing the left, center, and right dimension fields now available at the bottom of the ProKitchen window. Move will allow you to move the molding anywhere within the design. If you need more freedom of movement, turn off the Zone and Snap tabs at the bottom right corner of the Pro Kitchen window. Rotate will allow you to rotate the entire section of molding, either manually with the mouse or by utilizing the angle field provided at the bottom of the Pro Kitchen window. In Out will allow you to move the molding into the room or further back into the room from its current position. Again, you may do this manually with the mouse or by utilizing the out and back fields now available below. Out refers to the distance from the front of the object into the room and back refers to the distance from the back of the item in relation to the face of the wall. Up down will allow you to move the molding up or down along the height of the wall. When this option is selected from the plan view, this must be done by utilizing the top or bottom fields at the bottom of the Pro Kitchen window. If selected in the elevation view, you may use either the dimension fields or move the molding manually with the mouse. Nomenclature refers to how the nomenclature of the molding will appear in the design. You have the option here to either move the nomenclature to an entirely different position within the plan, rotate the nomenclature manually with the mouse, or restore the orientation of the molding's SKU to the default setting. Replace will allow you to switch out the molding without having to delete the item. When this option is selected, a dialog box will appear in which you can search for the replacement by SKU or description in the upper left corner, or by following the catalog tree in the center right panel and selecting the item from the bottom right corner panel. Delete will delete the molding. Change color will allow you to either create a new catalog copy or select a previously created catalog copy which will allow you to create a second set of global specifications within this design, making this a multi-style or multi-colored design. 
Edit, is an important feature, as this tool will allow you to edit the moldings much like you are able to do with countertops, backsplash, and user shapes. When selecting this option, the molding will become outlined in red, with red open points at each corner of the molding. To change the overall dimension of the molding, left-click once on the line you wish to move, then move the mouse into the new position and left-click to secure. To change the shape of the molding, left-click a point once, then drag the mouse into the new position and left-click to secure the molding. Also, while in edit mode, there are additional right-click edit tools available for lines and for points. The additional right-click edit tools for lines will provide you additional means of changing the shape of the molding and will work exactly as they do for countertops, backsplashes, and user shapes. To access, while you are in edit mode, place your mouse on top of the line or point you wish to alter further and right-click to reveal the additional menu. Let's start with the additional edit tools available for the lines. Extrude will allow you to create an extrusion into the room or a recession toward the wall. When selected, a point will appear that will move with your mouse. Move the point to the preferred location, then left-click to drop this point on the line. Then move the mouse into or out of the room to control the depth of the extrusion and over to control the width. Once the blue outline reflects your desired extrusion, left-click again to secure. If, when moving a point, you end up crossing one line over another, creating an unrealistic shape to the molding, you may hover over either of the two lines, right-click to open the subset of tools, and select Intersect. This will remove the intersection of the two lines at the cross point and provide you a new shape to alter further. Add Point will allow you to drop a single new point, which will provide you an additional point to select and change the shape of the molding. Radius End will create either a concave or convex curved edge to the molding. Disable is a tool unique to moldings. This option, when selected, will change the solid line of the molding to a dotted line, which denotes that this section of molding will no longer be present in the final design and create a split in the application of the molding. This provides you the opportunity to create unique and custom molding applications. Once a line has been disabled, you may re-enable the line by using the additional Edit right-click tool and select Enable. Note that this is the option that will allow you to wrap peninsulas and islands in either Tokik or baseboard. The additional right-click edit tools for the points of a molding are precisely the same as with countertops, backsplash, and user shapes. Notch will create a squared notch in the corner of the molding. Bevel will clip the corner and create the beveled edge. Move will allow you to move the corner and change the shape of the molding. Delete point will delete the point and create a straight line between the remaining points to either side of the deleted point. The last option in the right-click toolbox for moldings is Attributes. In the Moldings Attributes dialog box, you will see that there are only two tabs available, General, which will allow you to view and edit plan notations, Quantity and Price, if allowed by the manufacturer, or the dimensions of the item, although any dimensional changes made in the General tab will be for visual and design purposes alone. If you need the dimension changes to be added to the manufacturer report, they must be created within the Modifications tab. In the Modifications tab, you will be able to create any modification to the molding allowed by the cabinet manufacturer. Once all the plan items have been placed, moved, and edited, 
you will want to ensure that all non-plan moldings you require also make it to the Bill of Materials, Manufacturer, and Customer Reports. To do this, navigate to the top toolbar, locate and left-click the BOM icon shaped like a sheet of paper with a list of many items to launch the Bill of Materials panel. Here, you will see three tabs, Plan Items, Non-Plan Items, and Additional Products tabs. All your placed moldings will appear in the order in which they were placed in the design within the Plan Items list. When you left-click the Non-Plan Items tab, you will open the Non-Plan Items page. It is here where you will bring in your non-plan moldings and other non-plan items. To do this, you will need to bring them in manually from the catalog panel. Much like we do for bringing in plan items to the design, we will navigate the catalog tree, locate the desired non-plan molding, then left-click and hold and drag the item to the non-plan items page within the Bill of Materials panel and release the mouse to drop the item into the list. All items added here will then also populate in the manufacturer and customer reports when they are created. When you left-click on an item, all the icons above will activate, which will allow you to view the item information or delete the item. Edit will allow you to make quantity, price, dimensional changes, and other modifications if allowed by the manufacturer. The remaining icons here will allow you to copy or replace the item, rearrange where it sits within the Bill of Materials, and print the Bill of Materials report with or without pricing. Now all the required moldings are in place and the design is ready for you to finalize and create all of your reports. Placing, editing, and stacking molding has never been easier thanks to the Pro Kitchen software molding tools. Thank you for visiting Pro Kitchen University. Be sure to visit us at ProKitchenSoftware.com.